Hey Capricorn, welcome back to Soul Vibe In with Carrie. Back again with another tarot card reading here for you. Capricorn, your tarot card reading for today is going to be about money, career, finance, business ventures, or entrepreneurship. Okay, so if you want to know what's coming up around you or how your finances will be looking for the month of um february 2021 just keep watching so i also i do want to say this is for people who maybe don't know what to do or if they're kind of stuck in an energy where you know you want to start a new business or you want to you know maybe just do something different with your life as far as career or making money i feel like maybe some of you guys can find clarity because i feel like for the other groups and zodiac signs we've been finding some clarity on on different situations like that as well so take the energy however you feel like will resonate with you all right also i recommend that you check in with your other signs to get a full picture of what's going on uh within your career all right especially your rising um i'm hearing rising and sun signs all right so first i'm going to start off with actually your affirmation cards which are here and then i'm going to move on to tarot and i'll back up with tarot as well i will be looking into what's coming up around the full moon and the new moon for you capricorn as well as the work your light oracle and the cosmic guidance in the universe which is going to tell me what's affecting you and what the solution is to that this month for career and finance so if that's something you're interested in watching just stick by and i will be back in just a second okay all right, Capricorn, so let's go ahead and get started with an affirmation just to set the vibe right. So we got a whole bunch of affirmations for you that I feel like you can benefit from, but I really just want one for you because these are kind of long. So <laughs> I get two and I'll go ahead and take those because I feel like you can benefit from them. So we get, I am at the right place at the right time doing the right thing. I see myself healthy, whole. And living in, in a society where it is safe for me to be who I am and to love others. I am aware that I am pure consciousness. I am one with all life. I rejoice in my unlimitedness. Very beautiful. Wow. All right. So I'll set those there. Let's go ahead and get your tarot out, shall we? So this is for money, career, finance, business ventures, Capricorn. What should Capricorn be doing? What's up with them? I feel like a lot of cards want to come out already. So I feel like there's a lot of energies here or a lot of high vibrational energies as well. So can I get some for Capricorn Sun and Rising Signs for career and finance for February 2021, please? So we get a bunch of cards. We get the Ace of Wands, we get the Page of Cups, and we get the Queen of Swords. Back of the deck energy is the Knight of Pentac Pentacles. Excuse me. All right. So if some of you guys are wondering, um, just because before I forget, since this is the back of the deck energy, some of you guys may work in landscaping or something that has to do with nature, um, outdoors, something like. Um, or you guys can start a side business doing that. I feel like this is more for um, males listening. But hey, even women, whatever. I don't know. Put the energies where they resonate. Something that has to do with nature, landscaping, or something on that note. All right. So let's see. Also, this this to me is telling me that things may be moving, um, moving for you in career and finance as well this month. All right. So there's, there's something creative inside you that you can be doing as far as um, the way you earn money, all right? For some of you, this is going to be a new opportunity, something that has to do with something creative that you do, all right? I feel like you're going to be receiving a message or hear about something or someone soon with the Page of Cups here. This is good news, all right? Also, if you're looking into a new job or something on that note, I feel like you're going to get communication from that job very soon, especially towards the end of the month. I feel like it's going to be a slow process, especially with mercury retrograde in here for us um with the page of cups i feel like it's it's gonna be no, i want to say delayed i don't see delays i just feel like it's it's something that is it's it's moving it's a process all right and with the page of cups i feel like your job application if that's something that you're interested in knowing i feel like it has good prospects i feel like you will be getting a new job for some of you with the queen of swords maybe this has to do with communication online or or something that's maybe out of the ordinary for you because i'm hearing uranus uranus is a um obviously a planet of like unexpected kind of thing maybe this is a job that you didn't expect or something out of the ordinary that you didn't think you would be doing for some of you this may be something really creative that's also very different as well 
but also can be something with communication, okay? Oh, excuse me, sorry about that. Also, Capricorn with the Ace of Wands here, I feel like some of you may be getting unexpected money or um, windfalls of money or something on that note this month as well. Expect anything. I mean, this can be from a couple bucks to, I don't know, a few hundred thousand. I really don't know. But with the Ace of Wands here, it's it's a good omen, all right, for money just to basically fall on your lap is what I'm hearing as well. Some of you, before I forget and lose this, are very creative, okay, and you're very creative with style or there's something you can do with fashion or the fashion industry um i feel like this can even be makeup or something very creative maybe your hairstylist or you like designing your own clothes or something on that note maybe that's something very creative that you can be doing also you guys if you're a little older and you're um like thinking about investing or even if you're younger it doesn't matter um if you're thinking about investing i feel like this month has very good um good luck for investing However, you need to be careful not to be a little naive on investments, okay? Be, um, research, do your research, right? Communicate and make sure the communication is clear with all contracts and things like that, all right? Um, yeah, be wise, be wise about, about any investments that you decide to jump into as well. For some of you who do start this new job, there's going to be like a lady or someone guiding you here, right? This this person's going to be honest, direct, okay, very clear with what you need to do if, if some of you guys do start this new job, all right? This person's going to teach you. Basically, she's going to lace up your boots and, and tell you where to go, all right? Also... Be sure that with whatever dealings you come into towards the end of the month, be sure you're clear, right? Because this is a month where you have an opportunity to do something out of the ordinary. Um, different is what I'm hearing as well, right? But communication is going to be key for you. So if you communicate and you share your voice with whoever you need to share your voice with, I don't know why I'm getting that, but just, you know, be open, be open-minded and communicate clearly with people on what it is you want, all right? It's not the time to hold back, especially now your throat chakra needs to be, um, yeah, they need to be good. However, just be careful with any invest investments that you want to make, especially around the middle of the month, you guys, because um, I feel like with Saturn and Uranus, when there's a square in between these two planets, um, where we tend to make um like flighty decisions you know like you want to jump into things but be careful not to do that okay be sure you look into things and you know observe things be really logical about what you're doing all right don't just go with your emotions all right especially if it's the first time that you're doing uh, or that you're investing okay uh, capricorn that's something that's coming on very strong but overall a very beautiful energy what i'm seeing for you here because i feel like you're going through a transformation. It's like you're you're following, you know, it's like you're following your ideas this month. And that's going to bring you into a very powerful state of mind. All right? It's going to bring a lot of power to you. You're going to be feeling good, especially towards the end of the month. Um, with whatever creative ideas you've jumped into or you're thinking about or new job opportunities or ventures that you're you're working towards this month, Capricorn. I love your energy. I love what's coming up for you and I wish you nothing but abundance. So let's go ahead and see what's coming up around the new moon and the full moon for Capricorn. Mm -hmm. So the new moon, nothing yet is set in stone. Things are still moving. Things are still changing. All right. And for the a lot of water energy. All right. There's something, something about this card and this card that are drawing each other together here. I don't know exactly what it is. Let's go ahead and see what the full moon has for you. So you get, it's time to release negativity, full moon and Scorpio. And then you also get adjustments are required as well. So this is around the full moon, all right, you guys, for next month. Yeah, some of you may be making um, adjustments within your job or career field to where you're going to be making a decision on whether you should be a leader or you're going to be becoming a leader or a manager or you're going to be in a leadership position in, in your finances in some type of way, okay? So these are the adjustments that may be coming to you. 
whatever this is about though you're not going to be looking back you're definitely not looking back to your past and this is going to be the future all right for you like I said, this may be something out of the ordinary that you didn't think that you'd be doing. Let's go ahead and get a work your light oracle for Capricorn. So we get a couple here. I'll go ahead and take this for you. I feel like some of you will resonate with these. So we get trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? Okay, trust your intuition with things, especially when you're dealing with investments or new opportunities. Transformation, this is exactly what I, I felt you're going through. It's like the metamorphosis. You're going through something beautiful that's leading you into maybe your life's purpose or into a higher calling that's going to bring you so much abundance. Uh, things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. I see you, Capricorns. Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Wow, this is so beautiful. Because uh, like I said, there's someone older than you that's going to be leading you or helping you out. This may be um, in the physical realm or this may be spiritually as well with ancestors or maybe someone close to you who has passed who's maybe giving you intuition or you're getting downloads from this person on what it is that you should do. All right. Very beautiful. Let's go ahead and see what's affecting you this month as far as financially or career or, you know, any blockages that you're getting within your career here. Uh, you know, the, the transits going on with Uranus and Saturn, those are kind of like weird. And then also the, the um, Mercury retrograde too, it's like, ugh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Forgiveness, set yourself free. All right. Remember who you are, return to the roots. This is something is getting to me here. Something that maybe your ancestors did or something you're, you're going to be doing that's going to help you remember what it is you came here to do on earth. Dream, build, build castles in the sky. Joy, your inner child is here to play. Maybe this has to do with something that you've been dreaming about doing for a very long time. A, a wish come true. Um, joy, I'm getting like maybe something that you've been wanting to do since you were a child or that you used to dream about doing when you were a child. Love, allow it to pour in and out of you. All right, so I'm just going to leave those as they are. I, I don't feel like I need to pull any more cards from that deck. I will pull out some. I got the work your light. I got those. Um, I'll go ahead and pull out a couple more tarot cards just to clarify this up for you. Maybe we'll get more, more clarity on this Ace of Wands here. Can I get Ace of Wands for Capricorn, please? Judgment. Yeah, so something's been calling you. Something's been basically your intuition or something, you know. Uh, this is something you need to take action on. I feel like maybe your angels are guiding you to take actions on, on something this month. Or this may just be... Um, like basically a wake up call like you need to invest in something or there's there's a job or something you need to be doing with the page of cups here can i get a uh, that's that's very heavy on the ancestors you guys with the judgment card and then the intuition here there's something you need to be doing wow we get the ace of cups and we get the um we get you in the reverse here but i'm not gonna take it as in the reverse i feel like this is just your energy capricorn all right, like this is talking about work, career, finance. This is basically your own energy, which is beautiful because I, I feel like this is you standing in your power, all right? You rule you rule yourself. You're in control of your situation and your finances this month, uh, especially towards the middle of the month. It's when you need to stay in control of this, okay? Follow your intuition for sure on anything that, that comes your way that you feel like it may not be for you. With the Six of Cups, I feel like some of you, like I said, this is something you need to be doing that um, maybe you've been wanting to do for, for a while since you were a child, all right? Past, I'm getting a lot of um, memories or something on that note. Oh, wow, Ten of Cups. This is going to bring major, major f fulfillment to you. You guys, Ten of Cups to come up in a career reading. This is powerful, right? So voice, share your voice. However this may be that you're being called to share your voice or be analytical, be wise about what you're doing, you're going to get major wish fulfillment, especially towards the end of the month. You're, you're going to be feeling really good, especially with finances. You're going to see a major shift in energy, all right? Um, a shift in energy within your money as well, all right? Give me one more card, please, for the Queen of Swords so I can end off Capricorn's reading. 
So we get the seven of swords. Yeah, this has to do with something with communicating. Also plan. Okay, plan. Um, planning maybe towards the future or planning towards plan. Okay, plan towards having great success. All right, this is what I'm hearing. Like this is you being wise. This is like your future self telling you something. Um, plan towards having major abundance and success like do some abundance planning and something on that note all right capricorn overall very beautiful energy i absolutely love what's coming to you for the month of february 2021 remember to tune in to my love reading coming up soon and subscribe if you haven't done so already i send you nothing but love and light i'll see you guys next time bye